Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I am here today to share with you an introduction for a new project. I love this project. This has been this particular project series has been going on for many, many years. So this is my introduction for 50 Shades of Brown. I'm so excited. You would think you wouldn't be able to find 50 brown items in your collection, but I'm telling you, it's not that hard. At least it wasn't for me. I found things fairly easily. In fact, I had to cull the herd because I had too many brown items. So this is a Fantastic Ladies Club project that was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. We, in the Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group, we vote on the color. The original color was pink. And since then, we've had, so we've had pink, purple, green, yellow, and now brown. Is that right? Five years? Am I missing one? Anyway, I'm, I may be, but I participated every year because I love, I love, love, love this project. Anyway, so we basically pull 50 items that can relate to the color that we have voted on in some way. So this year, or actually it was later, late last year, we ended up voting and the color that was chosen was brown. So you can choose products that are brown in color of the product, have brown in the name. I'm reading from a list here. I have brown in the name like Bobby Brown or have brown packaging, any level of brown counts, anything from the lightest beige all the way to the darkest brown qualifies. So you can choose complexion items. You can choose based on packaging. You can choose based on the name. I think I have a hodgepodge here. So I'm going to get started. I love doing this project because it's like at least doing the introduction. I'm like, oh, I have all these things I'm going to start working on. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through items by category. So I'm going to start like I have skincare, hair care, body care, perfume, and then makeup. And I'm going to basically say everything is to finish unless I say otherwise. So I, there's a couple of things that I have a usage goal on, but everything else is to finish. So I'm going to get started with skincare. All right, I'm going to do cleansers first. I have two, I believe. The first one is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm in the Warm Vanilla Chai Scent. I'm actually using one of these right now and I don't love the way this smells, but I just wanna get it out of my collection. So it's usually these don't aren't really strong in smell, but this one is. Anyway, want to finish that. Then I have by Estee Lauder, the Advanced Night Cleansing Gelée. This is a deluxe size that came in that train case that comes every year. This has 75 mils. So I wanna give that one a try. Next up, I have one toner. I have the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Now this one, as you can see, I have started to use, but it's actually on the back burner right now. So I wanna get back to finishing this bottle up. So one toner, I have a bunch of serums. So I'm gonna start with this small one first. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Intense Wrinkle Cream. You gotta have samples in here to help out with this. 50 items is a lot. So this is seven mils. <laughs> gonna get that one done. Then uh, I have a full size of the Clarins Double Serum. This is one of my favorite serums. Love, 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 love. Then I have four other like, well, I have two serums from Estee Lauder. They're the exact same thing. This is the Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. So I have a full size. This is a one full ounce bottle. And I also have a deluxe size. This one is seven mils, I believe. Yes, seven mils. So we're going to get through these two. Then I have from Exuviance a... This is the Achieve Wrinkle Smooth Topical Peptide. There are two applicator vials in here. So let me just show you what this looks like. Cause this is really, this is like a gray brown. I know it's not brown brown, but this is really interesting. So it comes in a packaging like this and there are two of these in here. And each of these has 15, I'm sorry, 0.15 ounces. And it looks like with first use, pump to prime the applicator tip. Apply twice daily to clean skin. So I think you do it this way. Anyway, so I want to finish this. I found this at TJ Maxx for $18. And this is a very pricey brand. So we're going to get through that. 
Then I have a couple of eye serums. It's the same product, but one full size, one deluxe size. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. I love this. Love. So I have a full size, which is, I think this is a uh, half an ounce. Yeah, half an ounce. And then I have a deluxe size. And this one is five mils. So I'm going to get through both of those. And the last skincare item I have, I believe, no, I'm sorry. I have two more. Next up, I have the Sarah Hap Lip Scrub. And this is in brown sugar. I was like, what's the scent again or fragrance? Anyway, brown sugar. And then the last skincare item I have is by Neogen Dermology. This is the Daylight Protection Airy Sunscreen. And this is SPF 50. I need to use this up because if this expires this year, I don't really necessarily worry too much about like using sunscreen. Like if I haven't opened it yet, I'm kind of using it within six months. So anyway, I want to finish that, obviously. Okay, moving on to body care. I have, oh, I'm sorry, I have one. I have one more skincare product. Is that it, really? Masks. I have these Pure Lease Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Masks. And there are a total of six in here. So I have a bunch of sheet masks and projects right now, but I want to get these finished. Six. All right, that's really all the skincare. <laughs> Moving on to body care. So I'm going to start with a an exfoliator. This is by Volition. It's the Turmeric Brightening Polish for face and body. I'm probably going to use this on my body versus my face. So we're going to give this one a try. Next, let's do shower gels. So there are three here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you these duos. So I have two duos of Bath and Body Works shower gel and lotion. So the first one is in brown sugar and fig. This is fresh frig, fresh fig, <laughs> coconut milk and caramelized brown sugar. This is so amazing. The scent is fabulous. So I have the shower gel and then I have a body lotion, which this is not my favorite, but I need to work through these body lotions. So I have that in brown sugar and fig. And then I have the scent whipped almond vanilla. Scent notes are sweet almonds, whipped vanilla milk, and marshmallow lavender. Ooh, that sounds yummy. So I have the shower gel, and I also have the Ultra Shea body cream. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. All right, one more shower gel. I have this little deluxe size of the Molten Brown Shower Gel and Heavenly Ginger. So we're gonna finish that. Then for body, other body lotions I have by Hemp's, the Soothing Herbal Body Moisturizer in Koa and Sweet Almond. Oh, that sounds amazing. And then I have a full size of the Body Shop Nourishing Body Butter in Coconut. So we're gonna get through this one. I love that formula. One hand lotion. This is by Bath and Body Works. The Tr Shea Cashmere and Silk. This is Bath and Body Works, right? Yeah, Bath and Body Works. Doesn't say it on here. This is really old. I'm hoping it's still good. Seems fine. Okay, true story. A perfume that I had in here, like, I guess the cap was open because it spilled all in the bag. I had all these products in and my hands smell like that perfume. Oh, I'm so sad. I need to, I need to purchase it, repurchase it. Okay. Next I have two, this is the last of the body care items. I have two scrubs. The first one is the pharmacist's daughter handmade sugar scrub in Egyptian Amber. This is their full size, which is four ounces. And I also have by Tree Hut, their Shea sugar scrub and velvet coffee. This smells so good. I never thought that I would like coffee scented things, but this is amazing. Maybe it's as you get older. I don't know. Okay. I have three fragrances. As I mentioned, one of these that I'm not bringing in spilled everywhere in this bag. <laughs> it was a Skylar perfume in, oh, Coco something. 
Oh, it smelled amazing. Anyway, the first one I have is Skylar's Coconut Cove. And this one, you can see the brown coconut in the background. I thought that's really cute. Let me see if I can get scent notes for these. So for Coconut Cove, top notes are bergamot, cardamom, hibiscus nectar, twist of lemon. Middle notes are coconut, jasmine petal, gardenia, and lush greens. Base notes of ambrox, coastal woods, heliotrope, and vanilla orchid. This smells lovely. Mm. Next, I have another Scholar Perfume in Cabana Retreat. And let's see the scent notes for this one. This one is no longer available on Skylar's website. So this one, top notes, lemon, pineapple, mandarin, orange, and sage. Middle notes are coconut, solar notes, jasmine, and tuberose. And base notes are sandalwood, tonka bean, vetiver, and vanilla. So I'm going to finish both of these 10 ml size bottles. And then I am going to bring in the Kayali Vanilla 28 perfume. I want to use a quarter of this bottle. So I'm so excited. All right, moving on to hair care. We have three hair care items. I have never in the past brought in hair care items, I don't think, to this project, the 50 Shades of but this just worked out really well. So I have by As I Am, the So Much Moisture Hydrating Lotion. So this one is, uh, I think I've used this as a leave-in conditioner. Yeah, leave-in conditioner. Then I have the two products by Curl Smith, the Double Cream Deep Quencher. This is a deep conditioner. So we're gonna work on finishing this. And then Curl Smith's Moisture Memory Reactivator. And this is a reviving spray for curly, wavy, or dry hair. And I'm currently working on a reviving spray right now, but I'm close to finishing. So when I'm done with that, I will work on this one. All right, now for the really exciting part, which is the makeup. I had to really cull the herd on this. <laughs> but we're going to start with primers. I have two. The first one is by Becca. This is the First Light Priming Filter. This is brown. It's brown. Anyway, I want to finish this. I love, love, love this primer. Then from Milk Makeup, I have this little deluxe size of the Blur Stick. I don't think I'm going to like this very much, but I want to use it and get it out of my collection. So we're going to finish that. Then for concealer, I have one concealer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 7.5 Medium. This is definitely not my, like, a color, like, a color I would normally wear, but this is going to be good for me in the summer. So let me just show you a swatch because this is very, very dark for me. But I can make it work. I can make it work. I can mix it with lighter uh, concealers if I need to. Whoops. And uh, I use it during the summer when I have a tan. All right. Next up, I have a bronzer. This is a cream bronzer by Persona. And I originally was going to put a usage goal on this or like use half or something, but I think I've decided to try to finish it. This is the bronze multi stick in the shade Dune. I do have some progress on this. So you can see there, but I think I'm just going to roll it into finish. I'll show you how much is left. It's a lot, but I don't, yeah, I think I'm going to try to finish it. There's the shade. So we'll see how I do. <laughs> Next for a, a cream blush, I'm going to do cream products first. I'll do this cream blush. This is the Stila Convertible Color. And this is in the shade Camellia. Here is the shade. And I'm going to try to hit pan in this. So let me give you a swatch. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty blush. And then I have a cream highlighter. This is by Nude Sticks. The All Over Face Highlight in the shade Hey Honey. I feel like this is going to be dark for me. Yeah, it's going to be dark for me, but I'll find a way to use this. Oh, it may not be too dark. There's the shade there. It's just very champagne-y, yellow gold. Anyway, that's how much is in here. I can, I can finish that. Not a problem. Okay, next up for some powder products, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. You guys remember this? It got discontinued. I've just had this sitting in my collection forever. So I'm going to try to hit pan in this puppy. This is not a bronzer, in my opinion. It's not a bronzer for me. 
So I will use this as a face powder. If it looks terrible on my face, I'll use it to set my eyeshadow primer. I'll get, I'll figure out a way to hit paint on this. <laughs> this has a total of 13 grams. So it's going to take a while. And then I have this teeny tiny little Becca highlighter. This is in the shade Opal, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. Now, and I, like this is all janky. I need to, anyway. I had a full size of this, but I felt like this was a bit too dark for me. So I decided to roll it in to hit pan because I'm working on that Dior highlighter in pink glow I think is what it is and I think in the summer I'm gonna and I rolled that one into finish so in the summer I'm gonna need a darker highlighter to mix so we're gonna do that I'm gonna just I'm gonna see how long it takes me to hit pan if it takes me no time to hit pan I may roll it into finish but I'm gonna try hitting pan first so I'm interrupting real quick because I forgot to mention two powder blushes that I had that I'm rolling into the project. So the first one is by Becca. This is actually a palette. It's the Blushed with Light Trio. And there are three blushes in here. So we have Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. And I'm rolling this into you use each shade 20 times. This is a very old palette, obviously, because Becca has not been around for a while. Uh, let's see. I'm, I, I don't want to swatch it on this other hand because you'll be spoiled with the lip products that I'm bringing in since I already filmed that part. All right, here are the three shades of the blushes. This last one is a terrible swatch. Anyway, each shade 20 times. And then the second blush item I'm rolling in is by Tom Ford. This is the Shade and Illuminate Blush in the shade Explicit Flush. And here is this beauty. I didn't show you the, the actual packaging. There's the packaging. It's fancy. And then there, again, is the shade. So I typically just run my brush through both sides. But I'll go ahead and show you each side individually. All right, so those there are the two shades mixed. That's the lighter shade and that's the darker shade, but I just prefer to mix them. So again, I'm rolling this one in for 20 uses as well. All right, you're probably going to see eye products next. That's what I'm thinking. All right, for an eyeliner and, oh, I forgot to do this one. This is, well, let me do this one first. This is a primer, eye primer. This is by Ulta Beauty, the matte eye primer in nude. I probably won't like this either, <laughs> but I want to get this out of my collection. Hold on. I think it's still creamy, but let me just double check. Okay, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, and there's not a lot of product in here. Oh, that's good for me. All right, so of course, finish that. Then I have an, one eyeliner. This is by Physicians Formula, and it's one of their custom eye enhancing eyeliners. This was from the Warm Nude Eyes Trio, and I would like to finish this. This one does have progress on it already. That is how much is left. So I am trying to work through some of my colored liners, especially the brown ones. So I'm rolling this one in to finish and it's a nice, nice brown shade. So finish. Next up, I have one mascara. This is the Ilia Deluxe Size of the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. So that should not be a problem to finish. And then the last thing I have to share with you are lippies. So I have three that are like lip balmy products. The first one is by Bobbi Brown. This is the extra lip tint in the shade Bare Pink. This one's a just a clear, like, you know, clear lip balm. So, you know, finish, <laughs> finish. Next I have by Chapstick, the Total Hydration Lip Balm in Coconut. I'm working on one of these right now in, what's that scent? I can't remember. Vanilla cream, I think. And this is coconut. So I'm just to see. I don't smell anything. So maybe it's, maybe it'll come out later. And then the last lip, this is actually like a lip gloss, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to say this is lip balm. This is the Too Faced <laughs> Hangover RX 
Pillow Balm Lip Treatment in the shade in the scent Coco Kiss. So let me just show you what this looks like. Yeah, it's going to be basically a balm. I mean, it is tinted, but there we go. It's like a, you know, lip balm. So I want to finish this. This is a deluxe size. Yep, smells like chocolate. <laughs> and lastly, I have four lip colored lip products. The first one does have a usage goal. This is by Makeup by Mario. And even though it's a brown pack, it's brown packaging, this is actually called Mauve Glow. So this is their Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Mauve Glow. Now this product, you the reason why I'm going to put a usage goal on it is because you can't put, put this back down. So I'm going to roll this in for 30 uses and we'll see if I finish it. I think I have used this in another project. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love this product. And the next three are to finish. <laughs> the first one is a full size. This is by Marc Jacobs, the New Nudes Sheer Gel Lipstick in the shade Role Play. Sorry, this is the front of it. Now, I have used this, and it is sadly broken. <laughs> a inappropriate lip product. I mean, I didn't mean to do that. But I, I, I want to finish this. This is just sad. It's a very soft formula, so I think I can finish it. And, you know, I may lose some of the product just over time because it's broken. I would love, if I had room in my Voisette palette, I would love to have put this in there. But unfortunately, I do not. And I'm trying to think, can I make room? I don't know if I can. The next one is by Tom Ford. This is the lip color in the shade Julian. This is so close to being finished that I'm like, just get it done. There is the shade there. And that is how much I have left. This was part of their boys and girls collection. And there is the shade. So I would love to finish this. I love this color. It's beautiful. And the last product in this project and the last lippy is by MAC. This was part of a holiday collection. This is the Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Run for the Hills. So there is the shade. I have not used this at all. These do take some time now. I'm hoping because it's a Cream Sheen formula, it will go by a bit quicker. And it's a really easy lippy just to throw on. Look at that color, it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to roll this one in to finish. That is everything for my 50 Shades of Brown. I'm so excited. This is such a fun project. And if you haven't yet signed up and would like to, I will leave the information down below in the description box about all the details of this project. Please join us if you can. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.